to have you along here for the NBA on 2K Sports. Wednesday in the NBA, it's the away team. The NBA on 2K. A quick check now at the starting lineups for both teams. And for the home team. From 13, can't get it to go. Great look, disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. Knocks it loose. And they're moving it up. Number 13. And he dunks it down. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. They set the pick. Shot clock at six. Number 10. Gets an open look and hits. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. We're about one minute into the first. Right now we're going to go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Eric Spolstra. What would you find out, Doris? Job one for them tonight, Kevin. Getting back quickly on the defensive end of the floor. The real challenge when facing this team is limiting their transition points. And that, in no uncertain terms, is what he told his players going into this one. Guys? Thanks again, Doris. Number 13 hits the jump hook. Well, I think this is the start they want it. Come out and put some points up early. Three or four so far. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Takes a three. A shot misses. Gone three or four from the field to start out the game. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Number four, number seven, and he uses the glass on the way. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. Number six, off target with his three. Gone two or three here to start out the game. Number ten, can't get it to go. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. Number seven. No luck. Man, excellent interior defense there. Good rotations. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. And he banks in the layup. He's very savvy in traffic. When he gets inside, has a kind of an uncanny way of shielding himself from contact and finding a way to finish at the rim. And the other most noticeable thing about him to me is his passing. I mean, he makes things so easy for his teammates. All they have to do is get to the right spot on the floor, and he'll get it to him. He broke out the finger roll, guys. That was kind of a stylish finish. Shot's good. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Shot clock at five. Takes the three, and the shot is good. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Gone one or two, shooting from three. Number eight. That's good. Gone six of nine, shooting it well. Number eight. And a miss there on the triple. Gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Lots of room. Shot is off. 
And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Number four misses the baby hook. Looking well right out of the gates here at around 50%. To the inside. Plenty of space. And that one's good. Gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Backing in. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. And he can't hit the second. Gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Number 10. Soft touch of the glass. He has six been a very efficient first quarter for him. He's creating good opportunity and converting those that he creates. That one goes. Count it. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Nifty move. Blocked. Another shot. Two seconds left, and he sinks the layup. Really good performance so far on the boards for this club. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. Number 11. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Number 5. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The away team up one. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? And that first quarter was all about pace, guys, because this club really got out into transition, and that's how they built this lead. They like to play fast, and they're doing a nice job filling the lane. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Guys, as you know, the Miami Heat try to keep the plays they run as simple as they can and rely on their talent and teamwork to win them games. But playing like that can present its own kind of problems. Coach Bolster said, quote, the challenge is not getting bored with simplicity. Simple is what works, though, as evidenced by their back-to-back -back titles, guys. Well, Dora, sometimes it makes sense to keep it simple. Thanks. Number four. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Being one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Number seven. Offensive rebound. Fires from deep. No luck. It's three on three on the fast break. Number 10. Lays it up and puts it in. He's got eight. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. To the middle, number four. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a blowout, on. Kevin, or even a exhibition game not a close game like this and you know, Steve is well, I just, and, you know what oh, I just you know what come on Ken, I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean he threw it down with force six to shoot number 10 
Tries again. Oh, that's blocked. And they're able to recover. That is good. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Number 15. All three off the mark. Gone two or six in the field in the second quarter so far. Number six. No good with the finger roll. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Number seven. Second chance shot. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebound. You've got to be relentless. Number seven. Second shot opportunity. No good. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. Number 13. Up and in on the way He has six. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And it's paid dividends. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Number eight. Number ten. A three-pointer is right on target. Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding him. Inside. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, here's the screen. The time for the ball. Stolen away. on the clock. Number 13. The turnaround jumper. Count it. Eight points for him. Now you gotta love the footwork. How about that turnaround? Gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. One forty-one left in the first half of basketball. Gets it to go. I tell you what, the defender didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. And I think he, he believes that if you take some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And, you know, maybe this gives him an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. There's the bucket through. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Being at 44%, pretty reasonable. 116 left here in the second. And there's the second dunk to finish it off. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. Well, Kevin, it all starts with that shot blocking. He takes up a lot of space out there. Yeah, everybody wants to score inside, but he'll have you make other plans. He's a real game changer inside. 59 seconds left in the first half. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. 58 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Shoots from the line. No good. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Backs him down. 
30 seconds left in the first half of the game. You know, even though he's bite-sized compared to the big man on the floor, he's done some really tall work on the board. Fires for three. They grab their own miss. Moves back up, and that's two points on the middle. He's got 13. And we're through two here and a good one. The away team up by one. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And now it's time to break down the first half for you here on this Wednesday edition. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. And so here's the home team. They trail by one. Number five. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Did really well. 54% from the floor. Number seven. The second chance effort, and that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. Second shot opportunity. Good. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And 43% from the floor. Knocked loose. Number five. Carries it from three-point range. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. It gave him a wide-open look there. About one minute play here in the second half. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. You cannot afford to make mistakes like that here in a tight game. What a great play to sacrifice his body and take the hit. Yeah, I thought that was excellent awareness and anticipation to beat him to the spot there. Got that bucket in in no time at all. He's got 13. Yeah, and guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. It's blocked. Number eight hits the three-point pile. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. They've done a lot of good work with the ball, really moving both the, the ball and moving bodies, getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get them. I mean, they're hitting their shots. And they get it. Shot is no good. And they've been off target now on three of the first four shots they've taken in this second half. Back and down. Fades away. Can't hit. Well, he had to fade away there. The defense was all over him, and he got it off. Just couldn't get it to go. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Can't connect from short range. They're struggling here. They're just one of five to start this third quarter. They've got to loosen up here. Number 13. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Right around three minutes into the second half. Six on the shot clock. Picked him clean. 
That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And gone four or five for the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. Number 10. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's his first trip to the line. Come on, you can hit this. And he makes the first. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Number seven. The shot goes in as the ref calls the blocking foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. You gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. They gotta keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half, it's been nothing but success for them there. And their confidence has to just continue to go up the longer the perfection continues. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. For three, that's good. 17 points in the game. As long as they keep spraying them from deep, we're going to have ourselves one exciting finish. Well, it took them a while, but they're finally starting to get some rhythm offensively on the outside. Well, now they're just going to town on it. Yeah, you think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Number 10. The offensive rebound. Mm, it's a tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. There's a minute 47 left in the third quarter. Number four gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. He's got eight. Tough play. He had to fight his way all the way to the rim. Gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Puts up from 15. The shot is off. Gone into the three-point range four times in halftime and buried two of them. Number 10. From outside, off the mark. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. Deflects the pass. And here we go. That's blocked. And it seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. Number six. Gets the bucket. He has five. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. I agree, Clark, but it doesn't look like they have the will to do that at this moment. Number 10. Sinks the triple. He's got 20. Getting the feel out there from long range, guys. That's his second three of the half. Number 13. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. Number eight. Hits the target from 18 feet. Number 15. Drops one in from the wing. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach. 
The fourth quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back. Thing has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? The emphatic rejection. And here comes the break. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. Yeah, that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed on good looks right at the rim. Lock at six. Number five. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. Yeah, Steve and Kevin, you guys got to love this teamwork. I mean, everybody's involved and engaged. It's just a thing of beauty to yeah. watch. Yeah, sure is. And when all five guys, Clark, are threats to score, that makes it so tough on the defense because now you, you, you can't account for everybody when the ball is moving so quickly. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, guys, I was able to listen in on what Eric Spolster was going over with his team in that last huddle. He actually lit into them pretty heavily, saying, we're being way too soft on the inside. I better start to see some toughness and more shots being challenged. No more easy baskets. Pretty strong words, guys. Thank you, Doris. And he hits it and gets hacked out of the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash-mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. For the three. Gets it to go. Those are starting to add up. Of their last five baskets, three of them have been three-pointed. And it's not just great offense, Clark. The defense is really lacking. Not enough energy on their closeouts. Yeah, and he's one player who doesn't need a, a lot of space to get to the basket. He's really crafty. The way he can blast his way straight through traffic, he's really strong. Steve, another signature part of his game is the way he runs the pick and roll. He gets so many easy baskets that way. It's a play they should run for him as often as they can. Number seven. No good with the lane. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And that one's good. Gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Number four. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Ah, the turnaround jumper. That was a thing of beauty. Gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Number five. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Misses the jumper. Number seven. They get it back. Another shot. Well, 
all for just tuning in. Welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot. To the paint. Tipped. Pushing it up. Number seven. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Heads up play on both ends there. Transition basketball. The steal and the quick push. Steve, that's how it should be played. I mean, rapid fire basketball. Beautiful dish and the layup goes down. 20 points for him. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Well, just too many easy buckets, you know, in and around the paint. So he wants to put a stop to it. This timeout is going to be used to try to tighten up the defense. Guys at this level, they won't miss often if you keep giving up looks inside. And they're paying for that right now. Good timeout here. Gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. There's a minute 40 left to play in the final quarter. That's good. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Number five. Misses off the right iron. Gone seven of ten shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Number 13. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And the first one drops. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 112 left in the game. Number 10. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 23 points in the game. Starting to get it rolling, guys. That's four three-pointers for the game. Three of them coming in this second half. <laughs> 58 seconds left in the fourth. Gets it to go. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're 6 of 15. He tries for three. No good. Gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Number 13. And he makes good on the layup. A serious game-clinching run. They've taken off here. Impressive. No backing off. What a surge at the right time. Power down with both hands. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at all, partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his way. Uh, all right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. Shoots the three, and yes, sir, that one drops. Boy, you relish these sorts of road games where you come in and you get the job done. In a long schedule with the kinds of pressure of travel and tough opponents throughout the season, it's always good if you play a game like they have here. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation.